Yo, what's going with y'all? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an invisible tool where if you left click, it'll make your character invisible on your your end, the server's end, and other players' end and stuff like that. Don't forget, uh, links to join the disc my Discord and my Roblox group are in the description. You can join the Discord to talk and chat with me, other people, show love and support to the channel, the Discord. Um, you can ask questions about scripting or other Roblox dev things, and you can also suggest things for the channel and suggest video ideas and stuff. Cause yeah, I do be needing video ideas, but yeah. But so basically, the reason the reason why it's another video where like I already have it made and stuff like that, like like before recording stuff, was because um I just I had actually finished recording this like this video already once before, um like five minutes ago before I started recording this one, and then uh. I accidentally hit like a button that turned off my mic so it's like 10 minutes of footage lost so it's like there's not really a point in me like going back through it to just like redo the entire thing if I already have it made and I could just go through and explain it to y'all y'all know sometimes I just do that if it would just either take me too long to do something or if I already did it and it's just there's no real point to redo it so as you guys know I'll just go through it explain it and yeah okay so uh before we even get into it just so I don't waste nobody's time just just you guys can see the result here's the results so you know here's what happens this is how it works and well not how it works but yeah though that's just a demonstration so I'll, I'll get into how we actually make it now okay first things first you want to make a remote event invisible event so just go over to replicate a storage click the plus icon click click uh, remote event rename it to invisible event once you've done that, you're good to replicate storage. You can head on over to server script service. I named my script invisible script executor. You guys don't need to. It's just completely up to you. That's what I did. So you want to do a variable that says local invisible event, you know, given replicated storage invisible event and stuff. So basically, there's a variable in the local script of our tool, right? There's a variable, let me open this up right here. It's set to nil, but it runs through a, a for IV impaired loops and then an if statement to then determine if whether or not invisible is set to true or false. So if if it if the player is set to invisible, then it's gonna um make make all their parts visible. If they're set to invisible, it's gonna make them invisible. And if they're set to, if they are visible, they're gonna be set to invisible and stuff. I'll stay on this screen to like let you guys uh be able to like copy everything down and stuff. But yeah, I don't really feel a need to like read through the entire thing, just basically explain how thing is thing works so yeah the invisible event it's uh it's on server of course you guys already know remote events it sends over the player i sent over the character so we didn't have to get it and then send over the that uh, whatever the value of invisible is if a uh, if the player is um if their parts are visible then the value of invisible is set to false vice versa it's set to true but but it still fires and send still fire servers and send over the same amount of information just the only thing that's different would be the value of invisible and yet and then yeah depending on the um value of invisible determines whether or not it's it's setting uh, a player invisible or setting them back to being visible one little note about this is um in regards to accessories and stuff like that you cannot change the, there's no such thing as a property there's no uh, transparency property for accessories so you're pretty much forced to destroy them yeah if you're like someone who like you want to make it so it sets them invisible, but then also gives them back their accessories. One thing you could do is like when you delete the accessory, you could either delete the accessory or you could parent it to like server storage, then rename it to like players' accessories, like whatever player's name. You could organize it some way, and then when they set themselves back to visible, you have some type of method that like gives them back. It knows who the accessory belongs to as well as where it's supposed to go and then you can just give it back to the player. I, I'm not going over that, but you can if you if that's what you want. But yeah though. So yeah. Stay on this screen just a little bit longer and stuff, but yeah though. In, but yeah the invisible tool, I mean it's a pretty simple thing. Not really much to go over and stuff like that. But yeah though. So that's pretty much end of the video and stuff. Uh I already showed the demonstration of how it works, like how it functions in the beginning of the video, so you could go back to that if you want to see and stuff. But yeah though. Hopefully this video was helpful and stuff. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new and just generally if you have if you aren't already. Links to the my Roblox group and, and Discord are in the description and stuff, as well as the scripts. It will be in the description. You can use it to reference if you need help. You know, you can leave a comment down below during the Discord, ping DM me, doesn't matter. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see y'all.